you can visit our website for the commands in the videos if you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines then you can email to us follow us on facebook for further updates please do like share comment and subscribe so i can quickly deliver more videos on various topics As I showed earlier, in this router, if you enter the CLI, enter, you are in the user mode, type TN and it's requesting a password. So I need to type the password correctly. So when I type it correctly, I will move on to the privilege mode. There I can type show run to see the running configuration. You can see the host name is set to router. Okay. And enable secret password, which means the privilege mode password has been encrypted by default. Okay. So here you can see the interface IPs and you can see Line console, AUX and VTY lines are not yet set. Okay. So let me configure it. Go to config mod by config T. Here I can type line console C. The commands I have shown earlier. You can recall it. Line console 0. Login. Password Cisco. So here you can see showing login disabled on line 0 until password is set okay don't bother about that type the next command password Cisco. okay so now the password has been set next let me create a vty login okay so line vty 0 to 15 0 space 15 login again there will be some notifications you can see okay until password is set it's disabled okay don't bother about that just type password cisco okay cisco is the password which i have chosen okay so that i can easily recall the commands okay so you can type any password you desire and next line aux for our ip forms line aux 0 Again, login, enter, password. If you forget the command, you can type tab, pass, w, tab. It's auto completing, right? Then, Cisco, enter. Okay. Now, control is set to return to the privilege mode and type show run. You can see the password. Okay, by space bar, we can see the full page and line console password has been shown and AUX passwords and VTY passwords are being shown. Okay, you can see 0 to 15 is the simultaneous five sessions at a time to log into a router from five different PCs remotely. You can use this VTY 0 to 4. Okay, five sessions. The remaining are total vty sessions okay 6 to 15 are there so 0 to 15 sessions totally you can have 16 sessions but you can see when i type show run all these passwords are visible right it's in plain text anyone can type the command and see the password so it's less secure so in order to encrypt this i need to type the service password encryption command okay so go to config t again type service password encryption or is you can type question mark to see the available options shift question mark and you can see password encryption is there the description of the command is encrypt system passwords okay and there are some other options dscp enable dscp server and relay agents you can use this command as well, okay so here password encryption is the command which I need to type 
I can simply type service password encryption. It will out of it, right? If I press the tab, you can see encryption and enter. So control is that and show run. You can see now the enable password is already encrypted. The remaining passwords, console and VTY passwords are now encrypted. You can't see the password because it's not in plain text. Okay, it's encrypted. So this way it's being secure. Okay. So now to save the configuration, type wr or copy run start. So up to now, what have we done is the basic configurations, okay, basic startups. You just need to know these things in order to perform our following lessons, okay. So just go for show IP interface brief, okay. You can see the interfaces and the statuses should be up and up, okay. If it is down, down means the physical layer, which means the cable is having any damages or connection issues like that okay if it is showing administratively down means the cable is okay but it's in the inactive status you need to give the no shutdown command to activate it okay or else it might be shut down by the other side you need to activate it okay by no shutdown then show interface FA 0 slash 1 you can see the interface details okay the cables when you type the show interface FA 0 1 command you can see the MTU maximum transfer unit it should be 1500 means it should match in the both sides okay then only the data will travel properly Now let's have a look at how to create the loopback interface. Go to config T, interface LO0, enter IP address 10.1.1.1, phase 255.0.0.0, and no shutdown is not required here. Okay, you can note down that LO is the loopback is the logical interface, so you don't need to give the no shutdown command. Okay. So for loopbacks, you can create around this much of loopbacks, okay. Interface yellow space question mark, you can see the number range, okay. Loopback interface number, okay. So we can give 215, just like that I gave a number. And it's showing the loopback interface 215 is changed state to up, okay. Enter it and give the IP address. I'm just avoiding the description command here since it's an optional one. Okay. If you want, you can just mine 20.1.1.1 255.0.0.0. Enter. And control is and show run. Okay. You can see the loopback interfaces being created. Okay. If you type show IP interface brief, you can see the details about that as well. So far we have done our basic configurations on the packet tracer. So you need to get familiar with these commands so that you can easily proceed. Okay. You need to have these commands in your fingertips just to proceed quickly. Okay. In the real environment, don't look at the phone or search on Google about the commands like this because these are the basic commands, okay? And also, uh, after doing this, now so far we have completed the IP subnet part and the basic packet tracer. Next step, you should proceed from the VLAN topics, okay? So next, let me explain a last point. From these PCs, let's say if you are assigning around 10 dot network okay and you are having a cable let me 
is the loom dot table okay just consider only 10 dot network is there okay and you are having several loopbacks configured in this router and another interface connected to this router as well let me say so let me take the crossover and connect this interface with the other router okay and just consider this interface is up okay for example for f11 i am assigning an ip address f11 okay let me turn it on and assign 20 dot or 30 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 okay and for the other end i am assigning f00 country f00 turn it on and assign 30 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 okay so you can see now these two interfaces are in 30 dot network okay 30 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 and 30 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 okay so now you have a gateway 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 254 for this 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1 okay so from this router if i create a uh, loop back or anything here in this router i can still ping the loop back and 10.1.1.254 and 30.1.1.1 only okay i can't ping the 30.1.1.2 even if it is in the same network and the other end of the cable still i can't reach the other routers interfaces in order to do that i need a routing protocol configured in this router okay without that i can't ping the other end okay so just test these things uh, go to the pc and command prompt enter ping space 10.1.1.254 the default gateway is pinging okay you can see the reply again up arrow and modify the address 30.1.1.1 enter it you can see the output here now it's pinging again okay because it is the interface of this router okay so it can ping but it can't ping the other side of the interface okay 30.1.1.2 can't be ping okay. 2 and ping okay. it will show you destination unreachable message why this router can't reach the other end without a routing protocol okay you are getting the request time of message since you can't reach the other end okay you can try enter it So in order to ping this uh, 30.1.1.2, you need to configure the routing protocol in this router. Okay. Next, let me show you how to create a loopback in this router and let's ping that. Okay. Go to config D or exit. You are in the config mode. Interface hello one loopback, and I'm creating an IP address for that. 50.1.1.1 space 255.0.0.0 so I have created the root back and save it and close it and let me ping that loop back as well okay up arrow 50.1.1.1 enter it so you can see the loop back pings and the other interfaces attached to this router which are directly connected to this router are pinging but not the interfaces of other routers okay in order to ping the other side you need the routing protocol configured in this router okay in the routing protocol session you will understand how to configure the routing okay
So up to now we have completely finished our basic configurations. Now you are ready to move on for the VLAN topics. Okay. So let me explain how to connect the serial cable. Okay. So I am deleting this cable. Okay. So in order to connect the serial cable, both routers must have a serial port. Okay. In this router, go to config and see there are serial ports, serial 00 and 01, right? In the other router, again click, you can see there is no serial ports, okay? Modules are not there. You can note down the serial interface clock has been set to 1200 or 1500, we can say, okay? So here in this router, I'm adding a serial module. Go to physical. Turn off the router and add the VIC 2T module. Since I knew that that's a serial module, I can simply get it and turn the router on and wait for a while since it boots up. Okay. Okay. Go to serial. Okay. You can see the clock has been set here in two LAN. Okay. So the number differs because in serial interfaces, there are two ends. One is considered as the DCE end and the other one is considered as the DTE end. Okay. So in the DCE side only, you will set up the clock. Okay. Which is what happened here. You can see here the serial cable shown as DCE, right? The other one, this one you can consider it as DTE okay when you hover over it it will show the name DTE okay when you move on for this one when you hover over this serial cable you can see it showing serial DCE right so in the DCE end you need to set the clock set command okay and most probably you won't be using the serial cables these days we are going for the fiber or fast ethernet cables okay so now I have selected the top serial cable and click on the serial 004 and the other side clicking on it, serial 00 or I can click on serial 01 as well. Okay. So just enter inside the router serial 004. Okay. So just turn it on and you can assign an IP address. Okay. Close and the other side also serial 01 I can turn it on it's already turned on okay so now you can see it's indicating in green which means it's active okay so you like go to privilege control reset show interface serial it's showing complete because I didn't specify the cable number show interface serial 0 slash 0 right so you can see here in this serial 0 0 is up and protocol is up okay you need to practice these commands several times, otherwise it will just leave out of hand in a few moments, okay? So when you try these same uh, methods around four to five times by typing, then you will automatically understand these configurations, okay? Learn by doing, okay? Don't just memorize it and keep it away. You can visit our website for the commands in the videos. If you want to purchase other study materials like packet tracer files and other course guidelines, then you can email to us. Follow us on Facebook for further updates. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe so I can quickly deliver more videos on various topics.